Hello and welcome to this very quick, um, lightning quick introduction to using C Sound with FMod Studio. So, um, FMod Studio is an audio middleware for games, and C Sound is an audio synthesis language toolkit, just um, this amazing kit for generating sounds. Uh, combine that with FMod Studio, and you have this you have the ultimate audio middleware for procedural audio in games. Ah, I have to say that because I developed the plugin. So there you go. Uh, so in order to follow this tutorial, you're going to need to download FMOD Studio, latest version, and then you can download the latest version of Cabbage, which is a C sound front end. Um, and I've just added an exporter option. So you can export your, you can develop your instruments with Cabbage and then you can export them as FMOD plugins. So if you go to cabbageaudio.com, click on downloads, it'll take you to the latest downloads. Click here for the pre-release betas. Uh, you'll have to get the latest beta because the um, the latest release doesn't have this feature. So you can download that for OS 10 or Windows. Right, once you're set up and you have Cabbage installed, you can create a simple instrument. I've got one running here. It's a very simple instrument. It doesn't do anything. My instrument definition is empty. I'm going to create very quickly a simple noise instrument. I'm going to have an exponential envelope that's going to start at zero, start at one, and go all the way towards zero. I'm going to create some random noise. I'm going to pass the output of my envelope to the random noise, and I'm going to set the bandwidth of the noise to 20,000 hertz. I'm going to output the noise. I'm going to save this instrument. Save, and we get it. Okay, really, that's such a simple instrument. Right, uh, simple noise up here. This is the cabbage section. Okay. And this is whatever you pass to form, which is this, by the way, so we can change the size of that. It's got no bearing on FMOD Studio because it sets up default sizes for the plugins. Uh, but Simple Noise is going to be the name of the plugin. And FMOD Studio is going to show that name, not the name of this file, the name that appears here. So I'm going to export this, export as FMOD plugin. And I've got one here. I'm just going to overwrite Simple Noise. Yes, please. Oh, FMOD Studio is open in the background. I want to close that. Right, I'm just going to export that again and override the previous one. Yes. Okay, so that's just Cabbage telling us that it's created this file first. Okay, so open FMOD Studio. When you open FMOD Studio, you want to set, after you've exported your plugins, you need to go to Assets and you want to set a custom plugin folder. I've got one on my desktop called FMOD Plugs, and I've been putting all my FMOD plugins into that particular folder. Okay, so if you're doing that the first time, set your plugin folder, then restart FMOD. So I don't need to do that because I didn't change it. So I'm going to create a new event called Simple Noise. Over here in the audio track, I'm going to select. So we're creating plugin sounds with Cabbage. So I'm going to select Simple Noise, and I'm going to play it. And then we get that simple noise. Okay. Uh, all right. So if you want to change something, you can change things um, here. I can change, for example, I can change the bandwidth, so I can, so it's not as bright. If I go back to FMOD Studio and I play that sound again, it's not going to be as bright. Okay. So you can change the DSP algorithms in the code. Uh, for example, I can change the the envelope, so it sounds. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you can change the the sound generation algorithms. If you want to change the name of the plugin, for example, if you want to ch change it to um, Simple Noise Sound, and you save that, okay, and you go back to F Mod and you right click, and you look for plugins, it's not going to show Simple Noise Sound. Okay, we have to restart F Mod in order to update that aspect of the instrument or the plugin. Okay. Likewise, if we add, for example, I'm going here. I'm going to add a slider to control the bandwidth of the sound. I'm going to say bandwidth. I'm going to set it to twenty thousand, and I'm going to have it initialize at ten thousand. Uh, down here, I'm going to do chan get, and I'm going to set bandwidth. So 
Changet is basically going to retrieve the value of this slider when this instrument starts. And this slider is going to go between 0 and 20,000. So I'm going to save that. Okay, and we're getting a um, bandwidth of 10,000 at the start. Now again, I have to restart FMOD Studio if I want to see those changes. So let me close that. Don't save it. I'm just going to double check and just going to make sure that I have this saved. Okay. Now if I go back to FMOD Studio and I create a new event sound and I go to Simple Noise Sound. So that's the first thing that's changed. It's now called Simple Noise Sound and now I've got a bandwidth control for it. Okay. So and of course any of those any of these parameters can be controlled. You can add automation and they can be controlled from the game engine. Okay, so that's about as quick an introduction as I can possibly give you. Uh, just one thing to note, every time this event is triggered in FMOD, C sound is compiled and the instrument starts. So if you're doing some really um, like CPU intensive, uh, if you're using some very CPU intensive algorithms or you're doing some very complex synthesis, uh, you might it might not be the best approach to take. Like for example, if you've got, um, if you're creating the most, you know, uh, amazing, extraordinary, complex physical model of, you know, a toilet flush. Um, it might, you know, the, there might be a little bit of latency, you know, because CSAM is going to have to compile that on the fly every time the toilet flushes in the game. So a better idea might be to create a very long event, uh, which is going to start CSAM when the game starts. And then whenever there's a toilet flush in the game, we just trigger a sub instrument in C sound to play that sound rather than actually recompiling C sound every time. But anyway, I haven't really noticed any problems with latency so far. Uh, it seems to be really pretty quite responsive. Um, in the next videos, I'll show you how to bring that sound session into Unity and uh, Unreal Engine. So there you go. If you have any questions about using it, uh, you can go to the Cabbage Forum. And you can ask questions there. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.